Hello. 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 Hi. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Hi, hi, Jis. Hi, good evening. How are you? Back? Yeah. I'm fine. You're fine. Okay. Uh, about you? I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, the last the last uh, Saturday, I I missed the the, the this yeah, session. Yeah, the lesson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I missed the lesson. Yeah. Uh, you I, were able to. You have uh, an important event that you attended, or uh, yeah. is it? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so that yeah. that's why you weren't able to attend yeah, our lesson, I, right? Yeah. I yeah. cannot I cannot stand but because I have I have no internet. Ah, okay. So that's yeah. the reason. So because yeah, of the internet I, connection, yeah. that's why. Okay. So anyway, you are here now. So let's uh, proceed now. Back. Okay. Let me let me share with you our presentation just for a while. Hmm. Okay. Just for a moment. Okay, so we are on. Okay. Okay, I hope you can see this one back. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, actually, we are now on um, uh, Unit 2. Okay, so it's uh, Unit 2, Lesson 7. Okay, so the objectives of our uh, uh, unit two, lesson seven would be apologizing when you are late and talking about time, right? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, are we done with this one or not yet? If I'm not mistaken, we weren't able to to uh, discuss this one yet, right? Not yet. Back, right? Yeah, yeah, not yes. yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now for the part one back, this one is for the scene, right? So, Rab and Jenny will going to meet, right? So, Rab and Jenny meet, okay? But before that, let's try to have first the vocabulary back, right? So, let's try to match the time with the pictures. So, which do you think would be... Okay, actually, picture number one, it's a quarter to seven. Yeah. Okay, so that's number one. So why is it it's a quarter to seven? What do you think? Why is it it's quarter to seven? Uh, as you can see, the watch in here. Yes, yes. Yes. Um, so, uh, it's... Uh... The next, the next time to seven. Yes, yeah, so that means when we are talking about it's a quarter to seven, so that would be how many minutes mm. before seven? So mm. it's going to be 15 minutes, right? So mm. you have to count 10, up 5, 10, 15. So it's just only 15 minutes left before seven o'clock, right? Okay, but the proper way of saying that one, it's a quarter to seven. But some, okay, I don't know if you also use this one, back. Some might say, let's say, for example, someone would, would ask, what time is it? Okay, so sometimes people or person might say, it's, okay, 15 minutes before seven, seven. Yeah. right okay but this one is also acceptable in english okay so yes it's very true that when someone asks you what time is it so you can also say it's 15 minutes before seven so this mm. is also the same when we say it's a quarter to seven. Okay, yeah. back. Okay. Yeah. Next. What about picture number two? What yeah. time is it? 
the it it five or it thirty or the three minutes basis. Okay, so hmm. is uh the the half is half passes okay so that will be it's half past six right so why is it it's half past six why is it okay can you please tell me uh back why is it it's half past six that's correct. Okay, actually, picture number two, that would be it's half past six. But my question is, Beck, why is it it's half past six? So what's our basis in identifying why is it it's half past six? Because, because half, half of one hour is... 30 right okay so that means okay in in one in one day there would be 12 hours right back so there would be 12 hours and in one hour there would be 60 minutes right so in 60 minutes half of 60 is 30. Okay. Now, as you can see the time in here, the small hand, okay, where's the small hand? The small hand falls where? Under past half or it's, it's half past six. Why is it's half past six? Because the small hand, um, uh, um, what is on the small hand pointing to half of six, and then the long hand is to the seven. Now, there's another way on how to say this time. What's other way on how to tell the time with picture number two back? So we can also say that it's six. It's six thirty five, right? Back. So we can also say that it's six thirty five. Okay. Or we can write the number this way it's six thirty five, right? Back. Okay, I don't know in Vietnam, how do you tell time back? How do you say time? Do you, do you I, say? I, have, I, I, I can feel, I can feel uh, the uh, half, a uh, half of 30. Yes, half is 30. Because yeah. in one it's, hour, there yeah. would be 60, but, okay? But the, the, the second picture is either 35. And still call the, the half a uh, half. <laughs> yeah, half past six. Okay, o it's also half past six because it's uh, over six, right? So over the half. Because if you try to count from here, that's going to be five. Okay, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the 30 minutes falls under here. And then if it is over that one, that would be it's half past six. It's it's already it's already been 30 minutes past six. Okay, back or okay. In the Philippines, we simply we simply read the time as this one. The time is 6:35. We do say that. Okay. Yeah. Or uh, I, yeah, I, I, I think it's six. Uh, it's six thirty-five. It's right. 
<laughs> so yes, yes. <laughs> but... And and uh, it's half but six. Uh, it correct for the A picture. No, actually, actually, this one is also correct. Okay, this one is. So, you know what? This one is in in other country back. So this one is in London. Actually, they tell time like this. Yeah. Okay, so they they tell time like this. So if you happen to go to London, do not tell them. Oh, the time is six thirty-five because they they cannot they cannot understand that one, right? Yeah. So we have the same we have the same um what is one the same uh calling for the time in Philippines and in Vietnam because here in the Philippines we simply tell the time as six thirty-five. Yeah. Right. So yeah. in Vietnam, you also call the time at six thirty-five. Right, yeah. Beck. So it's easy, right? It's easy for us to, it's yeah. easy for us to uh, to tell the time because it's six thirty-five actually. But in London, okay, in London, it's half past six. Okay. Yeah. So they tell that one like that. Yeah. Okay. Next picture number three. What do Number you think three, time? the six twenty minute. Uh, okay, in in the Philippines and in Vietnam, <laughs> we call this one a six twenty, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. six twenty. Okay, so the time is six twenty. But what about in London? The London is the uh, it's twenty buses. Yes, okay, so it's 20 past 6, okay? Yeah. So usually they tell the time this way, Beck. So do yeah. not be confused, huh? Do not be confused because actually our lesson is based uh, based in uh, in UK, in the United Kingdom, and in London. Okay, so it's okay. Okay, it's 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 okay to understand them so that when you go there. You can be able to understand also the also their time, right? Okay. When you come here in the Philippines, we do have the same uh, time calling, so it's uh, it's not confusing, right, Beck? Okay. <laughs> so all you need to do, Beck, is just you just had to um, every there would be five intervals, okay? So five, ten, fifteen, twenty until. 60 minutes so half of 60 that would be 30 okay mm -hmm. and then quarter quarter of uh, of an the hour half. that would mm -hmm. be actually this one is six for uh, 645 right yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so in the philippines we call this one as the time as 645 so the time is 645 yeah yeah 45. right <laughs> yeah in vietnam yeah so you yeah. also call that one as 645 but in in united kingdom it's, it's yes it's a to quarter seven. to seven or it's 15 minutes before seven yeah yeah okay so they um it's 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 long when they tell the time it's going to be long okay yeah. okay so this one is number three. Oh, sorry okay wait for a while that's not the right answer okay so number Three. Okay, next. What about picture number four? Back. Number four. La is a water basket. Okay, it's a a water basket. Okay, it's a quarter past six again. Yeah. Okay. So why is it it's a quarter? It's a quarter past six again. Yeah, the bus the water the same. 15, 15 minutes. Okay, yes. Okay, so that will be it, right? So somehow it's confusing. Okay, but you just have to, um, you just have only to remember that uh, when it's 15, that would be a quarter, right? When it's, uh, it's here, that would be three, okay? When it's in here, that's also be a quarter, okay? Yeah. When it's in here, that would be one hour. So that would be one 60, hour. right? 
Okay. Next, picture number five. Is this? Uh, yes. Is this o'clock? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we do have the same now. It's six o'clock in Vietnam. It's six o'clock in the Philippines. It's six o'clock. Okay. Yeah. So there is yeah. no question about this one. Okay. So this one is number five. Next, what about picture number six? It's three minutes, but it's... Yes. Okay. Or, <laughs> or, or six. six. Three minutes. Okay. Six o three. So in the Philippines, actually, we simply six. tell the time as yeah. the time is six o three. Okay. Six o so, o three. Yes, yeah, 6.03, okay? Yeah. That would be 6.03. So, we, yeah, so we uh, actually do not pronounce the zero as 6.03, but that would be 6.03. So, the zero yeah. would be O. What about yeah, in Vietnam? Yeah. Do you have the same? Do we have the same also? Yeah. Um, yeah, um, okay, this is, good. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so it's three minutes past six. So that's that's London time. Okay. Yeah. In Vietnam, six. Uh, in the Philippines, six o three. In Vietnam, it's six o three or six three. Okay. Yeah, six three. Okay, six three. Okay. Next, picture number seven. The ten minutes. The ten past. minutes. Past six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's ten past six so that ten, would be six. yes okay so why is it 10 because if you just have to count 5 10 right so you were mm. going to say 5 10 okay so that would be picture number seven next picture number eight hmm. Uh, um, two and uh, two or two and I picture is in mm -hmm. the, 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 the uh, trends. Yes, so we need together. to change, right? Okay, so yeah. it's 25, 25, right? Yeah. Okay, it's 25. To seven. seven. Okay. Yeah. But actually, it's not 25. So maybe mm. this one is wrong. It's 35 supposed to be, right? Yeah. Because it's 30 and then the long hand pointing on the seven. So that's 35. So this one is wrong, maybe. Okay. So it yeah. should be it's 35 to seven. Okay. And yeah. then this one is it's half, half past six. six. That would be number eight. Okay, good. Very good. So this one is number eight. And of course, the last, it's five to seven. Five that to would seven. Be, yeah, so that would it's be. Nine. Yes. It's nine number. Okay, so that would be 640, uh, 655. Okay, yeah, so in the yeah, so in the Philippines, <laughs> in the Philippines and Vietnam, that would be 655. Yeah. Okay, okay, but again, um, this one is London time. Okay, and uh, sometimes people also use this one uh, back. Okay, there are also people actually, especially those who went to other countries. Okay, uh, in the United States, actually, they use also the same uh, time calling. Okay, but they also use the same uh, time that we are uh, calling, right? Like 6.35, 6.30, okay? Uh, that's why if you were going to use that one in a sentence, like for example, I will be out, okay, for lunch at 12 o'clock, right? Or I will be out for lunch at 12.20, Okay, so they usually use the 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 number itself. They don't use this one. Okay, back. Okay, okay. So, do you have any questions with this? 
Yes, no, no. No more. Okay, again, this one, when you go to uh, London, to the UK, do not mention this one because they, they're not used to this number or they're not used to this time. So they are used to this particular time. Okay, so moving on. Now, for the listening comprehension back, let's watch or listen to what happens when Rob and Jenny meet. So this is going to be um, a meeting of Jenny and Rob. I hope you can I hope you can still remember who is Jenny and who is Rob. Can you still remember them? Jenny yes. Zelensky, right? So Jenny Zelensky is the assistant editor from London 24, uh, no, from, not in London, because Rob is in London. So Jenny is a, an assistant editor from what office? Yes. New York. Okay, so mm -hmm. from New York office. And then Rob is from a London. writer. Yes, a writer, okay, yeah. from London. So he is working from London or for London 24 7. 24 7. Yes. Okay. So now this time Jenny arrives already, okay, uh, at the hotel. Okay. And Rob will going to meet uh, Jenny at this point in time. Then after that, let's try to answer the question What do they decide to do? Okay, and then let's try to mark the sentences with a T or true or F for false and then say why the false sentences are false. Okay, okay, let's try to watch. Okay, just for a moment. It's reading. Oh, what happened? <laughs> uh huh. I have to repeat that. Oh, why, 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 why is it? It's not working. Oh. Okay, just for a moment, huh? Uh, back. I just ah uh, okay. Where is it? Uh, here. Okay. Why well, cannot play that that one? Okay, just for a moment. What happened? Uh, yeah. and hyperlink oh what why hmm. I cannot open something wrong something wrong with my with the connection yeah. maybe um back okay but this one is very important we need to okay I have to copy I have to copy the link and I need to go to the uh huh I need to go to the YouTube. Okay, just for a moment. Okay, it's here. Oh, why I cannot? And copy hyperlink. Oh. Oh my gosh, I cannot. We cannot. <laughs> uh, we cannot open it. So mm -hmm. something wrong maybe with the with the connection at this point in time back. You can uh, you cannot uh, pass, copy yeah. the link. I cannot copy the link. I cannot open also the video. Yeah. Okay, wait for a while. I have to move it in here. Wait open 
it uh, it won't open wait for a while okay but anyway back actually um, there's a transcript okay so if we cannot listen so there's a transcript in here so we just have to practice the transcript okay back yeah. but actually this particular uh, conversation between Jenny and Rob so this is going to be their first meeting together okay so what do you think would be would happen during their meeting okay so the question number one Jenny's full name is Jennifer Zelensky right mm. okay so Rob is early okay um ah Jenny's full name full name is Jennifer so is it true or false? Rob is early. Is it true or false? Jenny likes the hotel. Is it true or false? She doesn't like the hotel coffee. Is it true or false? She has a meeting with Daniel at 9.15. Okay, is it true or false? The office isn't very far from the hotel. Is it true or false? So we will be knowing that one on the trust. Okay, now back. I will be Rob and you will be Jenny. Okay, okay. So let's try to practice. Mm, Jennifer? Hello? Hello? Yes. yes, hello. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. Call me Jenny. Good to meet you too. Welcome to London. Um, I late? Mm, just a little. What time is it? 9.15. I'm really sorry. The traffic is terrible today no problem okay how are you how's the hotel the hotel very nice but breakfast isn't great i like good cup of coffee not hotel not hotel coffee real coffee okay let's get a coffee do i have time uh, I have a meeting at 9.30. With Daniel? Yes. Don't worry. We have lots of time. Okay. The office is very near. So, Jenny, where do you live in New York? Okay. So, that will be it. Now, let's try to answer the question in here. Back. Okay. Yeah. Jenny's full name is Jennifer. True or false? Yeah, true. It's true. It's false because the full oh. name, the full name, the full name of true. Jenny is Jennifer Selensky, right? Uh, okay. Ah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, this one is correct. Yeah, because Jenny, Jenny. is just yeah, only yeah. A, her, her stage name maybe. Yeah. And then Jennifer is her full name. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Rab is early, true or false? Well, yes, he's late, because he's late okay. a little. Okay, he was been late for about fifteen minutes, right? Okay. Yeah. Next, Jenny likes. Minutes. Yeah, Jenny likes the hotel. Uh, true or false? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes, true. it's true. She yeah. likes the hotel, but she doesn't like that. Let's slide the the food. Slide the breakfast. The food, yeah. Okay, the food. Okay, she doesn't like the hotel coffee. True or false? Mm. She likes coffee, but not uh, but not uh, not as the hotel. hotel. Okay, yeah. so this one is false okay so that's why she said oh um i want a real coffee not a hotel coffee right mm. okay next she has a meeting with daniel at 9 15. no she uh, she needs uh, she is we missing with the uh, daniel at uh, 9 30. okay the office isn't near very far from the hotel Oh, it's near. It's very near. Okay, it's very near. So therefore, this one is false. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now let's try to communicate this one one more time. 
Okay, yeah. so I will be Rob again and you will be Jenny. Okay. Mm, Jennifer? Rob? Yes, hello. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. Call me Jenny. Good to meet you too. Welcome to London. Am I late? Mm, just a little. What time is it? 9.15. I'm really sorry. The traffic is terrible today. Oh, no problem. Okay. How are you? How's the hotel? The hotel very nice. But breakfast isn't great. I'd like a good cup of coffee. Not hot have coffee, real coffee. Okay, let's get a coffee. Do I have time? I have meeting at 9.30. With Daniel? Yes. Don't worry, we have lots of time. The office is very near. So, Jenny, where do you live in New York? Okay, so that would be, so it's, it's time now for them to know each other, right? Okay, now, what have you observed with their conversation, Beck? From the start of their conversation, remember, this is the first time that they were going to meet each other, right? So, what do you think would be uh, the flow of their conversation together? Do you think... Uh, who's going to who's going to say first? Who's going to talk first? Of course, Rob, right? Since Rob is a gentleman, he's a man. Okay, so it's proper that uh, in in uh, in in the first time that you were going to meet someone. It's proper that a gentleman or a man should have to talk first. Okay, Beck? Yes, that's why yeah. look at this one. According to Rob, mm, Jennifer, and then after yeah. that, Jenny answered. So, it's proper, Beck, okay? Do not say that, oh, you are Rob, you are Rob, okay? <laughs> um, as if you are so very excited meeting Rob. But it's proper that it should be the man first should have to talk first, okay? Yes. That's why yes. Rob uh, talk first, okay? And uh, ask uh, to clarify if she is Jennifer, right? Yes. By simply... Uh, asking Jennifer, okay, or Beck, okay, something like you are asking for an assurance that, oh, you are Beck or you are Jennifer or you are someone or you are that particular person, right? And then after that, what's the answer of Jenny? Oh, Rob. So it's a question also because she wants also to clarify if he is truly Rob, right? Yes. 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 Okay. And then after that one, what would be the next, the flow, next flow of their conversation back? Okay. So they. Uh, Bryce. Hello. Yes. Greeting. Yeah. Hello. Right. Yeah, right. So it, it it shouldn't be like like for example, Jennifer. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the. <laughs> let's go to eat now. So it's it's not like that. Okay, because yeah. you're not yet friends, right? So it's it's proper to introduce first. Okay, introduce first your name. That that would be very proper. Okay, especially if you are in a a formal or uh, a formal situation or gathering back okay so it's very proper it's very formal that you should have to introduce fresh your, your name on or a greeting okay so greeting each other is very important just like according to rap yes hello so hello is a greeting right and then after that one nice to meet you right yeah. Oh, nice to meet you, Jennifer. Since they already knew each other by their name, but they weren't able to see each other, right? Okay? But they knew already the name of the person who's coming and then the person Jenny would like to talk, right? So they knew each other by their name. 
but they didn't see each other. Okay? Okay, so therefore, it should proper to say hello first, then to say nice to meet you, or you were going to say, oh, I'm happy. I'm happy to meet you. Okay, uh, it, it's a pleasure meeting you. So there are a lot of um, good expressions to say to a person. Right, Beck? Okay, and then after that one, okay, you, maybe you just have to, so, oh, just call me Jenny, because sometimes if um, you're going to call, if someone calls you by your name, full name, that would be very formal, okay, so therefore, you have, you have also to offer that, you are going to say also, oh, just call me back. Okay, just call me Harji, or just call me Harj, or just call me G, because that's my uh, my stage name, maybe, right? And then after that, since since the person uh, told you, nice to meet you, so you should have to respond also to the greeting of that person, right? Back, okay, and then after that, it's proper. That since Rab is from London, so it's proper that you should have to formally welcome the visitor by saying, oh, welcome to London, right? So that the person who's going to uh, go there would feel that he or she is welcome, right? Okay, so that would be the, the proper, okay? Uh, Beck, remember, ha? Huh? First, you have to, of course, you have to mention the name. Second, it's a greeting. Then third, okay, you need to welcome the person, okay? And then after that one, you have to, okay, apologize. That's why our lesson is all about, it's all about, apologizing when you are late okay did did rab apologize apologize to jenny because he was late did rab apologize yes Beck. sorry yes did rab apologize to jenny because he was late yeah because yes. of the delays yes so how what what the what is the expression that rab uh, tells jenny that he apologize mm. okay according to him i'm really sorry so the word i'm really sorry is an apology and then okay why is it you ask for an apology so you have also to mention the reason why you were late okay i don't know if we have also the same situation here in the philippines uh back it's going to be traffic so the traffic jam is one of our problem in here okay like for example if you go to of if you go to the office and let's say your your office time starts at seven o'clock you need to go to the office at around six o'clock in the morning or at around five o'clock in the morning back why you take uh you take the two hours yes. to the office yes. if your office is going to be uh it's a it's a ride or you need to ride okay because sometimes if you will not going to go to the office let's say one hour okay before your office uh, hour starts then it's going to be rush hour you know what's a rush hour? So people might going to go also to their offices. 
So there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people waiting for the buses, waiting for the taxi, waiting for waiting for the train. That's why the train station in here in the Philippines back, it's going to be very, very crowded. Yeah, it's okay? even terrible. <laughs> it's, it's terrible, actually. As you can see, sometimes the traffic, let's say if your office is just only near, but you need to ride, sometimes you can be able to get to your office for one hour. Yeah. But actually, it's just only 20 minutes away drive from your home going to your office. But it's because of the traffic jam, so you can be able to arrive okay, at your office at one hour because of the traffic. If you will not going to go to your office early. Yeah. Okay, so that's yeah. that's one of our problem in here, the traffic. But uh, maybe it's not just only the problem here in the Philippines, but also, I don't know, in Vietnam, do you have also traffic there in Vietnam? Yeah. Um, uh, in, in Ho Chi Minh and, uh, Ho Chi Minh and Ho Chi Minh and, uh, and uh, Hanoi. Uh, yeah, it's either the because it's a big Jeffries, city, right? Yeah, yeah. And the Jeff is uh, the Jeff is uh, also terrible, terrible, also. terrible. so it's yeah. a problem, also. Okay, yeah. and but, um, um, but but um, I I take a one hour, ah, yeah. One hour so you uh, also go to the, the office. The office. <laughs> so you also spend one hour in going to the office, but your office is just only near near your house. Yeah, ne no. Ah, it's far. Yeah, it's far. Okay, but um, yeah, actually, so that that's that's the problem actually, not just only the problem of uh, uh, our problem, but it's a. It's a worldwide problem. Look at look at this one. This one is in London, right? But as you can see, in London, it's it's also been so traffic, right? Mm -hmm. So the traffic, according to Rob, is terrible. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, that's a problem. Okay, back. Okay, so again, the first is. Um, when you are meeting a person on the first time, you need to, of course, uh, you need also, sometimes it's going to be a different way, okay? Instead of saying, Jennifer, Rob, it's going to be, oh, I think you are Jennifer, am I right? Or let's say, for instance, oh, I think you are Beck, am I right? So, of course, if you are Beck, you will going to say, yes, I am. And <laughs> I guess you are a hard G. Yes, I'm Haji. Oh, so you already, uh, you already, uh, what is one? Um, confirm that you are back and I am Haji. And then after that, greeting may come in. So that's also another way, right? Okay, next, moving on now. Okay, then right after, right after the apology, What's next? What's next? Um, uh, Beck, of um, course. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ask to the status. <laughs> yes. After uh, Rob asked an apology, right? And then Jenny accepted his apology. So what would be the next one? Of course, since you are the you are in that particular country and Jenny is just only a visitor in your country, of course, Rob will going to ask how was the hotel? Yes, how was your stay in here? Right, so you are going to ask the experience of that person in that particular hotel or in your area. 
So it's very important also that one back, right? So you need to ask, oh, oh, do you have a good, do you have a good, good, uh, good sleep last night? Okay. Do you think your your hotel room is nice? So that those are the expressions that you can be able to ask to the person if he has or she has a good night's sleep. Okay. Because sometimes. I don't know huh, if you agree with me, Beck, that when you are new to that particular place, sometimes you cannot sleep. Do you, uh, do you, uh, are you also the same with that? Okay, let's say, for example, when I go to, when I go to uh, other, other, other countries and then uh, staying in a hotel, sometimes I cannot sleep. Why? Because I am looking for my my bed, <laughs> right? So I am not used to sleep on on uh, on uh, on a different different bed, right? Okay. What about you? Can yeah. can you sleep? Can you sleep? Yeah. If you are still, if you are in the first home? in the first uh, first uh, first day. I can yeah. I cannot sleep. <laughs> yes, see, because because that's new. That's a new environment. So maybe that would be normal. So it's very important to ask the person, right? Yeah. So what would be the answer of Jenny? So according to Jenny, yes, the hotel's very nice, but she doesn't like the breakfast, right? Okay. So, and aside from the breakfast, maybe she doesn't like also the coffee in the hotel. That's why, according to him, I like a real coffee. And then after that one, when Rob heard that, Rob offered Jenny a cup of coffee by saying, okay, let's get a coffee. Okay? And then, of course, you should have to ask also, do I have time? I have a meeting at 9.30, something like that, okay? Okay, so that would be the scenario. Okay, Beck? Okay, now, what are the useful expressions that we need to understand in here, Beck? Okay, these are in apologizing... You need to use I am really sorry or you may say I'm really sorry. Okay, so in apologizing. So this one is a useful expression back, right? Okay, and mention the problem. Okay, and then after that one, of course, the person whom you ask for an apology should also respond by saying, oh, no problem, or it's okay, okay, never mind, something like that. Okay, big. Okay, now let's try, okay. Let's say, for example, I am asking an apology to you because I am, I was late, okay, for our first meeting together okay so i have to say oh are you back are you back yes, yes. i'm back okay. yes, yes i am okay so you yes, have to, I yes am. i am oh nice to meet you back yeah hello nice to meet you too Okay, I'm really sorry, Beck. I'm late. Okay, um, um, due to the reason that it's going to be, um, uh, 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 uh it's going to be, um, uh, what is it, a terrible traffic on my way going here. Oh, no problem. Yes, okay. So that is the expression that you were going to us or aside from saying i'm really sorry so you are going sometimes you have to change this one also right you may also say that uh, uh apology for being late 
Okay? So sometimes, back, we can also change that one. We can say apology for being late. Okay? But this particular expression, apology for being late, is very, very formal. Okay? So maybe if you are talking to an older person or if you're talking to a person older than you it's better to use apology for being late sir or ma'am okay because this one is more polite but if you see that the person you are asking uh, an apology with it's just the same age as you, so you may use this one back, okay, instead of this one. But this one is also accepted, okay? Okay, now, think of another way on how to ask for an apology back. Let me see if you uh, just just think of another way aside from I'm really sorry, apology for being late. So what other expressions in telling sorry? Telling. Yes. What telling. other expression in telling? Okay. In in uh, telling me that you are very sorry because you were late. Aside from, I'm really sorry, apology for being late. Okay, aside from that too, what else? Mm. Can you think of another expression aside from this? Okay, another one we can say, Okay, like this, huh? we can also say that, okay, um, you may say from the bottom of my heart, okay, it's going to be long, but sometimes this one works, okay, from the bottom of my heart, I would like to ask for an apology for being late today. Okay? Okay, so this one is, is also one way of saying apology, right? Vic? Okay, so apology for being late. From the bottom of my heart, I would like to ask for an apology for being late today. And then you have to mention the reason why is it you are late. So what are the possible reasons, uh, Vic? Aside from uh, heavy traffic, aside from terrible traffic, what are other reasons? for you to become late? <laughs> aside from aside from traffic, what are other reasons, Beck? Oh, let's say, for example, I have to say, oh, Beck, I'm sorry, okay? From the bottom of my heart, I would like to ask an apology for being late today, okay? Because, because of other reasons. Okay, sometimes we can say this one back, okay? Sometimes other reason for being late would be this one. Okay, reasons for being late, okay, are the following. Okay, number one, because of terrible traffic. Okay, other term for terrible, we can also say heavy traffic. Okay, wait for a moment. Oh, 
Okay, so these are the reasons, right? So reasons for being late, terrible traffic or heavy traffic. Or it can be, what else, Beck? Family emergency, right? Family mm. emergency. What are those family emergencies like? Okay, what are those family emergencies like you brought your, maybe your, your mother, your father, okay, your grandmother, grandfather to the hospital, right? Mm -hmm. So you bring them because they, uh, they're suffering from an illness, so that's why you were late. So these particular reasons for being late pick are acceptable. Why is it acceptable? Because these are emergencies, right? You cannot control. You cannot control the traffic. You cannot control the emergency, okay? Um, a family emergency. You cannot control them, right? So therefore, it's acceptable uh, reason for being late, okay? What else aside from this? Okay, we can say that um, I have a terrible, terrible, um, let's say, stomachache, right? Stomachache. Stomachache. Yes, okay, you know what's a stomachache? Okay, right? You know what's a stomach ache? Yeah, so if stomach your, ache. yes, if your stomach is aching and you need to go to the bathroom from time to time, have you experienced that one, uh, uh, Beck? Uh, let's say you have this particular, what are these terrible stomach aches? Sometimes you have this particular LBM. You know what's LBM? LBM. Yes, that will be lost bowel movement. So you need to go to the comfort room from time to time, going to release something like that, right? <laughs> because, uh, so that would be a terrible stomach ache. Sometimes your stomach is very aching, okay? So you cannot go to your office because, oh, I need to go to the CR and then, okay? <laughs> and then after that one, oh, it's again, okay? So sometimes <laughs> the reason why is it for you to become late because of that. But, yes, but because of LBM sometimes, you cannot go to the office because... It's um it's going to be it's not proper that you were going to to go to the office with the LBM condition, right? <laughs> so it's better it's better to call your boss boss. I need to be absent today because I have LBM. So LBM mm -hmm. means lost bowel movement. Okay? Lost bowel. Yes. yes. Okay. I have to write that down, huh? So L stands for loss. Okay, wait for a while. So L stands for loss. Okay. And then B stands for bowel. Yes. And then M stands for loss bowel movement. Okay. Yes, so LBM, so loss bowel movement, okay? You know what's bowel? You go to the CR most of the time, okay? Bowel. That's bowel, yeah. So you need to release the, the dirt from your stomach, okay? <laughs> and sometimes if you have the LBM, the, the sound that comes from your, from your stomach would be... <laughs> okay. Nice. So that yes, this that's that's very disgusting actually. So if you are going to 
report to the office and then when they when your co-workers heard that one brrr, something like that so that means you have ldm okay <laughs> okay so that would be it uh back huh um reasons for being late terrible traffic family emergency so what are the useful expressions that we need to understand that we need to use in asking sorry or asking an apology okay first you have to say i'm really sorry or you can use, use apology also. for being late or from the bottom of my heart i would like to ask for apology for an apology for being late to today. today yes okay see so or you can also use this one back in telling your your maybe your boss or your supervisor in telling you know what from the bottom of my heart i would like to ask an apology uh, because of my attitude today sometimes because of my characteristics today okay because i am not feeling well okay so you can you can actually use this particular expression because this one is more formal mm. or this one is more polite. Mm. Okay, then? Yes, yeah, so that would yeah. be it. Okay, now on our next meeting together, Beck, so we will going to continue this one. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so then after that one, uh how are you going to to ask for a time right so how are you going to do that so you may say do you have time then i blank at 9 30. don't worry i have a lots of time so we were going to study that one also on the next meeting back okay do yeah, you have questions yeah. no no more, no more. Okay. yeah so have a good night back we'll see each yeah. other again next saturday bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye.